only people allowed behind the caution tape at a crime scene are medical examiners. A new memoir follows a medical examiner's first year working in New York City. Dr. Judy Melanek and her husband and co-author T.J. Mitchell join us this morning. Good morning to you. Good, Good morning. morning. To talk about their uh, best-selling book, New York Times best-selling book, Working Stiff. So we appreciate you both being here this morning. Um, there are TV shows, there are <laughs> movies that focus on what you do. Why are people so interested in this? I think people are interested in forensic pathology because ultimately we're all afraid of death and yep. we want to figure out how to avoid it. And there's something in the back of our minds that if we see how other people die, maybe we can prevent that from happening to ourselves. So I think that's the primary interest. But ultimately, it's the popularity of the TV shows that drives the interest more than anything else. Yeah. So part of the purpose of this book uh, is to kind of de-glamorize what the TV shows put out there, I know. and and. How do we do that in this book? How did you guys kind of move forward with that? We really wanted to show what Judy actually does for a living. <laughs> uh, and to do so, she, she kept a diary for the whole year that she was training and then turned it over to me. I'm a writer, and together we turned it into a memoir. And at the beginning of the book, she doesn't know what she's doing, right. and neither does the reader. I'm and, the rookie. Yeah, right. So I think I shared with you in an email the other day, having covered politics for... 20 years, I felt it was just so negative, and going home then, it was difficult to turn it off. You all are both parents. Yes. Um, how do you, and, and you had a toddler at the time you were writing this, how do you turn that off? Well, you can't completely turn it off. I mean, ultimately, it's hard not to come home at the end of the day and, honey, how did you do today? What did you do? We have, <laughs> yeah. our, we have our dinner table conversations. I do temper it to be appropriate for children. And it's amazing, actually. There's a whole movement called Death Over Dinner where it is actually normalizing talking about death as well wow. as life and making mm. it okay to talk about it. I think that in some ways our fear of death and our fear of talking about the horrible things makes us not communicate that to our children and then they become afraid. And there's always a way to talk to it, to ki talk to the kids about it. You know, how did this person die? Well, he didn't look both ways before he crossed the street. Right, right. there are lessons yeah. learned in each of them. Right, and drugs. <laughs> exactly. Some, Judy does a lot of, a lot of uh, people who have died one way or another mm -hmm. of, of drug overdoses. And it's wow. easy to talk so it's to kids finding those like little learning moments. It's a learning moment yeah. for me every day. <laughs> sure. I mean, when I walk into the morgue every day, each one of the bodies that are on the table, I learn from from them and it makes me appreciate life more. I know that one thing that I've gotten from people who have read the book is they said it's a very life affirming book. And you wouldn't expect you that wouldn't when expect it's all that about at all. Yeah. Yeah. death, but actually when you see death every single day, you appreciate what you have so much more and you appreciate how to keep yourself alive and your children, your family, you bring them closer to you. Is that TJ what kind of uh, drew you to this project besides your wife? I mean, <laughs> what, what's the message you wanted to share? Yes, I, that, exactly. I, I, we both really wanted to talk about what Judy really did and also part of her experience was Judy trained in New York City in 2001. Yeah. She's mm -hmm. one of the 30 medical examiners who identified the remains after the World Trade Center attack. And it became, as the years went by, more and more important for us to tell that story because it went from being personal history to history, mm -hmm. especially as our kids grew up. Mm -hmm. And for them, it was like the JFK assassination was for my generation. Yeah. It was something that changed their world, but they knew nothing about it. So you're going to have the opportunity. You're going to be here in Madison later on tonight signing the book right. and talking about it. This is going to be going on at the Mystery to Me bookstore on Monroe Street at 7 o'clock. Again, the book title is Working Stiff. Dr. Julie Milnock and T.J. Mitchell, thank you both so much for being with us this morning. Good thank luck you to you. Thanks for Fascinating up with us. Story. Yeah, absolutely.